One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Press play! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, we know we've been long here because of your love from us that goes on and on forever. Jesus, we know you are with us wherever we go. by the type of music that they listen to. For example, I like the group We The Kingdom, and one of the reasons I like them is because of their lyrics. I find them to be a great encouragement to me. And you know what? Music helps me find the confidence to face the challenges that I face every day. What are you most confident? My check. One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? This Sunday we are finding out the most important reason we can have confidence. True confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. If you live with that kind of confidence, you can make the most out of whatever God has set in front of you each and every day. You can press play, get in the mix, and join the party. My check. One, two, one, two. Get in the mix. This game is fun to play by yourself or with a friend. Okay, this game is very simple. We'll play a beat and you'll play along. For example, you could snap, clap, stomp, shuffle, or anything you want. Use your creativity to come up with your own favorite drum pattern as we play along to the beat. You'll see some of my friends up here doing some beats, and when it's your turn, I'll point to you so you can have a solo. 
First, let's start that beat. Are you feeling the rhythm? Do you have a beat in mind? <laughs> then let's get in the mix. Let's add in a few beats, shall we? First, my friend Eden. Next up, we have Ben. Let's add John. All right, Michelle, you're up. All right, now it's time for you to get in the mix. Stand up, show me your best beat. Ready, set, go. Keep it going now. Wow, now that was a cool song. Each person had a different part to add to the mix and each one was important. Now, stay on your feet. Let's keep the music going as we sing to God and worship him together. Luke Smallbone's wife struggle with addiction. 
As they dealt with this, she told Luke that her addiction represented so much guilt and shame in her life. Do you think you've ever experienced something addicting? Maybe it was a snack or a food that you love so much, or a game or a toy that you play with all the time. Something you enjoy can be healthy, but sometimes these things can take over our lives and become unhealthy, and that can lead to an addiction. Well, that wasn't the only thing that inspired this song. This song was also inspired by a story they, they read about an explorer going to a new land. According to the story, when the explorer called his sailors off the ship to look around, everyone on the ship feared going into the unknown. The explorer realized that despite the ship being disgusting, the men wanted to stay because the ship was a familiar place. When he got, when he got the sailors on land the next day, he ordered the ships to be burned because they needed to move forward with their lives, not stay stuck. Well, in Luke's wife's case, getting over her addiction was her version of burning the ships. And that inspired Luke and Joel to write this song. How cool is that? And you know what time it is? It's Bible story time. Let's learn more about how Jesus is our Good Shepherd. What's up, Kellen? Not much but I am looking forward to hanging out with you gents. Definitely. What do you got for us today, Kellen? Well, I figured I could talk about a guy, maybe you've heard of him, named Jesus. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Take it away, Kellen. When you read the Bible, you'll see Jesus is called different things. The Son of God, the Light of the World, the Prince of Peace. One thing Jesus is called is the Good Shepherd. Most of us today probably don't know much about shepherds, not really on the list of common career paths at school. But when Jesus lived on earth, a shepherd was a job that everyone would be familiar with. A shepherd was responsible for taking care of an entire flock of sheep. Shepherds made sure their sheep didn't eat any poisonous plants. They guided their sheep to where there was fresh water to drink. And they protected their sheep from attacks by wild animals, like lions or bears or wolves. Here's the thing about shepherds. They know their sheep. They know when their sheep are sick. They know which one of their sheep gets most scared when a storm approaches. They know which one of their sheep will most likely get lost or wander away from the flock. Shepherds know their sheep. So, why is Jesus called the Good Shepherd? Did he take care of sheep? Not exactly. Maybe it'll help answer the question if we know a little bit more about Jesus. The first four books of the New Testament are called the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You can read them yourself to find out who Jesus is, how he's God's son, how he was born in Bethlehem, how he grew up to show people a new way to live and a new way to think about God. You can read how Jesus took care of those who were sick, those who had been forgotten, or those who couldn't always take care of themselves. Jesus was like a shepherd to them. That's why Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. But Jesus wasn't talking about actual sheep. He was talking about us. We are the sheep, and we need a shepherd to guide us and protect us. We need a shepherd who knows us. Jesus is that shepherd. Jesus knows you. He knows when you're scared or sick. He knows when you mess up. He knows when you want to run away, and he loves you no matter what. Jesus knows you. And you can know Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You see, for thousands of years, people have been separated from God. But Jesus, as the good shepherd, made a way for us, his sheep, to have a relationship with his Father again. Jesus gave up his life for us. He died on a cross to pay for the sins of the world. He knows us. He loves us. And he died for us. And after he died, when all hope seemed lost, God raised Jesus from the dead. No matter who you are, no matter where you've been or what you've done, you can be confident in this. 
you are known. You are known by Jesus, the Son of God, the light of the world, the good shepherd. The end. Great story, Kellen. Thanks. No problem. Yeah, it's crazy to think that of all the billions of people in the world, Jesus knows me personally. Right? Doesn't that make you feel important? It does. I feel so confident right now. Yeah. Like I could change the world or something. Well, get to it. I will. Thanks again, Kellen. See you guys next time. Yeah, later. Bye, Kellen. Okay, so how are you going to change the world? I'm going to start uh -huh. by making you a playlist that's really going to encourage and inspire you. Yeah, share some of that <laughs> confidence. Come There's on. a little eye of the tiger. Yeah. A little high hopes. Yeah. There's a little believer. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, wake me up before you go, go. Yeah. Well, wake me up before you go, go. That inspires me. Oh, okay. Reveal the question. Oh. When are you most confident? Mm. I feel confident when I have people who really know me root me on. Or make you a mixtape. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? When are you most confident? Think about that. Huh? Ooh. What are you doing? Huh. I'm thinking about taking up shepherding. Oh, it's a lost art. I know. <laughs> That's all the time we have for the day. See you next time on The So-and-So Show. Yeah, live from the meadow. Where the sheep are! Oh, okay. Yeah! It's gonna be... bad. <laughs> well, BCC kids, that almost closes the morning, but I don't want to end without focusing on our memory verse. It's our important verse we'll be focusing on all through the weeks of press play. And what is it? Let's take a look. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you, John 15, 12. So BCC kids, hopefully you can learn that in your hearts and in your minds. And the next time you see me, you can share that verse with me or maybe share that with a friend or a family member. Anyways, let's head to worship and we'll see you next week. For me, you good. You hold my future. You're working all the time. You're the mountain mover. From sunrise to sunset, till the sun comes back up again. You're by my side. You started a good work in me. I know that you will complete it. You will see. That you will complete it, you will see it through.